Osaka and headed to Hiroshima. It's about an hour and a half train from here to there. So, so, so I couldn't help but think of the tragic histories of this place. It was a time when the world was changing, led by poverty, fear, hate, pride, and power. It was a world at war. And this world became fierce lands. Suddenly, it ended. But through it all, one structure remained. And a symbol of peace was constructed. So whatever your tragedy is, no that you can overcome it and find peace. And perhaps we'll learn that nothing good can come from war. Right, there's one thing I wanted to say about this is that uh, if you didn't notice by the video, uh, you can see through this, through the heart, through this, you can see the atomic bomb building. There's water and then there's the flame of peace back there. You can see all that through this. So what does this all mean? Well, here's what it means. The flame has burned continuously since it was first lit in 1964. And it will remain lit until all nuclear bombs on the planet are destroyed and all the planet is free from the threat of nuclear war. The arch is inscribed with the phrase, let all souls here rest in peace, for we shall not repeat the evil. And now back to our regular vlogging schedule. So this is Hiroshima's train station, um, or at least the main one. Pretty clean, pretty nice. I just thought I'd, uh, I just thought I'd let you take a little look around so you can see what it looks like here. Oh, all right, so we need to take a bus to get to the hotel, and this is our directions. The bus that we need to take is in Japanese, so we need to figure it out. To our surprise, when you get the JR Pass, you get a tourist pass. This paper right here, oh, it's just like, you're probably thinking, oh, it's just a map or whatever. No, what's cool it's is that you have access to a city tour bus free of charge for anywhere you go within the city. So super cool and just another reason to get the JR Pass when you're here. All right, so now we're on the free JR city tour bus. They're kind of crap, but I'm just too big of a guy, I guess. Or, I mean, never mind. got dropped off by the bus. Now we're gonna walk to our hotel, which is just around the corner. Uh, this is the Peace Museum, which, which is actually undergoing some construction right now, so might not be able to see much of that, but there's, but there's plenty of other stuff for us to see, so we should be fine.
right, so we found the main little like shopping and walking section here in Hiroshima. It's uh, a lot like most of the other places that we've been to. Um, kind of cool. Uh, less people, but uh, lots of things to do, lots of places to eat. So Todd is going to go eat some ramen. Got my change and my tickets. Those noodles are hot. I'll be having some Okono Miyaki, but this time it's Hiroshima version, which is different from what we had in Osaka. Let's check it out. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the chase. I can't wait no more, man, I got it blow today. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I really, really like this. So at this place, um, instead of you making it yourself like we did in Osaka, they make it, um, and they don't mix it inside, it's, everything's on top. The only real difference between Osaka and Hiroshima is that they put their toppings on top instead of mixing it in. So. So one thing I want to say is that we've just been in Hiroshima for only a few hours. I, th I think we both already noticed the difference between here and most of the other places in Japan. A lot of tourists for one. Tons of people coming and a lot of them actually from the United States here, which is more than we've seen anywhere else in Japan of uh, people from the United States, which is interesting. Th there's seats uh, like everywhere, which is crazy because most places that we've gone to, there weren't many seats to sit down. Uh, there's trash cans everywhere, which is another thing. We don't see much in Japan, trash cans. When you buy something and eat it, you eat it right there, because there'll luckily, hopefully, be a trash can right there. But if you happen to eat it somewhere else, you will have to hold that trash bag or that item the whole entire time until you get back to your hotel, most of the time, unless you're lucky enough to find a trash can. Uh, but here, there's trash cans all around so it's very it's very different so but in a good way I mean neither is bad they're just different and you know just because something's different doesn't mean it's bad or good it's just a difference that's that's the amazing thing about Japan I feel like is that almost every city we've gone to is completely different from the next one it's some some cities some cities do either one thing or another really well or they're known for something uh, or they're, you know, a foodie town or whatever. I think it's that each city has its own unique personality. And it's kind of cool. Uh, I really love that about Japan. So, yeah. Thank you.